Hello and welcome to the next episode. I think this one is going to be a little bit more relaxed due to the fact that we... Oh, Red can stand off already. Yep. Yeah. The Ottoman said... What? Already the Union? Interesting. Mm -hmm. So... The Ottomans have been conquering inwards here. Let me see, in fact, in detail. Yeah, they've gone almost up to Georgia now. Interesting. How did they lose these provinces, though? Hm. Interesting. That's going to be a problem. Potentially. I mean, I was improving relations, right? I am, yeah. So maybe I can ally them. That would be... <clears throat> significant... Now with the development that Austria-Hungary is a thing, Poland-Lithuania is actually a thing. So we are going decently historic here right now. And France is winning against England. And the Ottomans are on the rise here. So they do need to have a positive opinion of me. Okay. So we just keep improving here. Okay, going to take the loyalty here. Uh, yes. They are starting to reform. Or rather, not reform, but getting worse for the moment. Okay, but that's it's an interesting development. Yeah, there's the Krevo. Yeah. I mean, basically, this is the power block now, which I shouldn't underestimate here. However... Kiev is still alone. Realm unification. Ah, it's tempting. I would like to do this, but... I mean, we could vassalize them. I would be... If we don't... We can't afford the aggressive expansion right now. Also, Kiev already, yeah, minus 180, so <clears throat> that's not going to happen. Mm. I have to wait until the tenant stuff has run out. Meanwhile, conversions are already going, so we are up to 11% orthodox here already. We are at... 4.5% here and 35% here. Yeah, so it's still working in the right direction here. What's happening here? Chakassia is getting attacked by. Interesting. Um, is Chakassia disappearing? That would be interesting. Okay, um. So next step here, seven years to go. Blue Horde. We could attack Vyatka, in fact, just get take it out. And I do think I want to give it to to Nishi Novgorod here. Because then we don't need to call it because I want to save the admin power here right now. We anyway have to go there due to the rebels we are going to get. Meanwhile, we can continue improving Muscovy here. So there's still some investments going on here. Let's see. Also, we do have a lot of birth rate, some decent immigration to residents, but not too much. Well, we're already at 80k now. That's good. In fact, let's do some more farmland investments here. And in fact, we should check our market here. We do have fulfillments in a decent ratio. Yes, that's good. So... This is looking quite well, currently. So we're going to take out Vyatka here. And that's it for the moment, probably. It would be interesting if Vyatka has a core great firm because then we could release it and 
take back the course which the Blue Horde took. Which would also be quite useful. If we can. But I don't think it has a core, right? And sure, enough got has a claim. I have a claim, yeah. So we are going to give that to Nishinov the root, in fact. movement here in these regions is extremely slow just because of winter and the forest and so on terrible okay let's go and we are going to take it from Novgorod here uh, Nishi Novgorod and there will be rebels soon okay we are not going we don't need help at all so we are not going to decrease our liberty <clears throat> our liberty desire here, or rather increase it. Blue Horde apparently is retaking Bashkiria, which is good. So what else is going on here? Can we do... No, nothing to be done here. We do have two decisions here. One is the window to the west, which makes Petersburg the capital, which gives us centralization, in fact. Um, one of the following must be true. Technology group Western, I don't think if, if that is still possible. So it needs administration skill of at least six. Or academia. Hmm. And admin 40. Interesting. Yeah, that's a while away, basically. Our Russian Patriarch is at peace. Constantinople has to fall, and then we get legitimacy and prestige globe. It's powerful. That's a lot of bonus that we would get here. I mean, like. Legit legitimacy is one of the most important stats here due to the autonomy change, which is quite big early on here from, from, from it, basically as a stat. Okay, so we are going to... Wait a second, we are going to give it to Nishin... Do we? Yeah. Let's do it. Because I don't want to waste the admin here. And we can convert it easier that way. Because we already have stuff here which we need to convert, which isn't that easy. So now we have to defeat the rebels here in Utmusha, which are going to spawn any moment now. And here Bashkiria is gone again. And there's one province we would like to get relatively soon here, which is basically, I think, this one here at the Caspian Sea. Let's see. Because it's also a trade hub. Come on, game. No. Oh, wait. Maybe it's that, but it's small. Maybe that's growing over time and not right now. Bureaucratic expansion has already... Yeah, we are going to give them the special commissions here. We are going to continue expanding the bureaucracy here. So we need it. And there are the rebels. And we got the expand authority. Which we are going to do again. Now we got state reach. And now we can actually invest down here. But we can't anymore because we are currently making it a core. Okay, I don't want the ecclesiastical stuff here right now. Wait, is this? Oh, wait a second. I know the song. Oh. Here. Okay. Now, do we have enough? 
to do the circle. Yes. Just need 10 burger power. So we do just need the influence here now. And now we have to fix our um, stability again, for which we can also. Wait a second, we can we do something here? Hmm. We could do banish agitators here. Uh, 25 loyalty is a little much, right? So instead, I think I want to remove the noble courts here and then just do yield concessions. <coughs> so own this guy and maybe. Yeah, let's do one noble marriage here. And if we are lucky, we do have enough. To do this, theoretically, yes, we do need 50 admin and we do need one stability again. So stability currently is at 82% and going up, so potentially we will get one. Okay, these stay here, up here because the sunny rebels will happen anytime soon. And we are already 10%, so it's going up nicely. The interaction with the tribes, of course, is very useful for the parts here in the south. Now, um, ah, the amen amenities are done. The next step here would be to, oh, we already did here. Capital rank, rank one. 841. That's something I want to build here. And meanwhile, we could. Workers are rising, residents are rising, peasants are growing. It's all good. Problem, of course, is our terrible peasant freedom. It's down to 55 now. We can go up to Yeah, we could go up to this level relatively soon. Yeah, we could. Okay, let's see if there's anything interesting here. Vladimir got investments. Moscow, we got a lot of stuff. And no industrial, they, they are old. Mm. Okay. I think I need to add the other provinces still. So, Grand Captain has died. We are going with the advisor here. And we at 96, so stability is almost there. And then we can do the reform. So that's our plan here. Zekov has died. There we go. That's our stability tick. And now we are going to do the reform here to city charters. 10% urban production, 10% commerce production is a very big deal here, making us a lot more efficient. And of course, potentially producing a lot more trade value, which is useful for getting commercialization faster. So we are going to do this. Plus 40 loyalty. Can we do something here? Mm, nothing we need. So just accept it. And now we do have a little bit of unrest for a while. And that apparently stopped our missionary, so we are going to recall them and the AI will find new purposes for them, I guess. So. Come on. <laughs> I mean, we don't need to waste any money currently. Of course, we could make sure that, or we should 
Ah, attendant abuse finally is over. Um, what I wanted to do. Ah, yeah, I wanted to add everything to the auto investor if it's not already there. So we are going to investors manager, remove all own provinces, and then we are going to add all provinces. And I have to turn off my WhatsApp here to do. There we go. So there's another sunny rebellion here. Oh, come on, not again. Can we just switch to... Let's do something like this. Mm, okay, now we do use investments over all over the realm. And what I just wanted to say is that we could, of course, check out our major cities here like Novgorod here, which could use some more amenities, in fact. So we could check amenities 3, 4, Novgorod itself, 446, that's even more expensive than Muscovy was, so that's a no-go for the moment. And this guy needs investments, which we can't apply right now, but when the course finished, then we can do it. Okay, and so Misha Yurt here, of course we can't really annex it right now because of the liberty desire, but that will change over time. And from time to time we can actually just dump some prestige into it. And yeah. And we're going to do the same here with Premier soon. Okay, the rebellion should happen any moment. Now, what do we need to reform urgently besides the military stuff and the state reach stuff? So we are going to have a relatively large realm relatively fast. Due to the fact that we are going to integrate all of these things, we are going to have Crimea, we are going to annex Kiev probably relatively soon. So in expansion east into the steps, we can do this, but it's going to be expensive. So it has, we're first going to finish up the rest here. Now, what do we need for this? So we do want to have peasantry as free as possible. So we should check what can we do to get tenancy far away from serfdom. So the next one is of course, theoretically possible if we get the influence down. So if we can get somehow the nobility influence reduced, that would be massive. And for free peasantry, we actually just need lower power, which is possible. Especially with taking more step territory. And then we just need a very good king. So currently we are at... Hmm... Factions, no. Oh, wait a second. When do we lose Master of the Rust? Oh, 20 years already. So where is my... Where is that written down? What are... Maybe it got moved somewhere else. I'm not sure right now. What our authority is. I would like to know. Oh, maybe it got moved into the estates, in fact. So let's check. That would make sense, in fact. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bato Udus just took an alliance here. Yeah, yeah, we're going to compensate them. That's not good that Bato Udus is now allied. Yeah, we do have 55% authority, so we can... Yeah, we just need better stats to have higher values. Okay, so they actually were allied now. Oh no, so this means that... Is that crisis over? No, it's not yet. But they can make alliances again. 
Interesting. That's bad. Very bad. In fact, what I'm going to do now is, in fact, use Kurum here and enforce the religion here. There we go. Um, because at some point we have to eat the unrest or the liberty desire anyway. Okay, um, we are progressing slowly but surely. And now we are onwards to the last core here. There we are. Uh, Sarai is now caught. Astrakhan, therefore, is also almost stated. Now we can actually invest into this one. We can dump some buckets into everything here, basically. So we can do 20 into higher education. Uh, 20 into industry. And we can do 20 into commerce. This should help a lot in whatever we want to do here, except having a rich city. Also, does it have resources we can explore it? Ooh, fishing, in fact. So, also using the Volgar for fishing. And some farmland here as well. I think crops was enabled, right? Yes. Why do we end up at this song all the time? I don't know. There we go. Um, uh, probably because it's the uh, context sensitive and we are in the early times of the game. So I think Ecclesiastical music would be fitting. Okay, Sweden. Poland will not like us. We can still hold on the Ottomans here. Taking that back. So we can improve relations here and then maybe friendly. I don't know. That actually actually possible. We need to have positive opinions about us. I'm not sure how we can manage this, but we will find out. Okay. So the biggest problem really is now that we have this stupid alliance between the white and the blue horde now. And we have Timurids in the south. Makes it even worse. Oh! Georgia's gone. Oh boy. That's unexpected. So if we were to declare war here... Yeah. Oh boy. So Batu Ulus is back to 50,000 troops. That's problematic to say the least. Maintain this guy here. So I think we still get... No. Uh, they need to improve relation with us. Oh, Sarai has fallen so quickly. I didn't pay attention here. That's of course costly. We lost some units, population, everything here. Minor setback. Annoying setback to say the least. Okay. Mm. The problem here is now that we can't defeat the White Horde that easily. In two years the truce is over. Of course, the king might again die or get assassinated here, so they get plunged back into low force limit levels, but I wouldn't trust on this. I would really love to have an alliance with the Ottomans here, if possible. If somehow possible. They don't want to. I don't know, is there anything I can do? I 
give them access. Yeah, we could give them access. I don't know if that changes much. So give them military access. Now they have a positive opinion about me. Is that, that actually enough to make an alliance? Forty-two to forty-eight. Hmm. I don't know. Can we improve our army strength? Yes, we could. So let's go up to seventeen, indeed. Here, for everything we can. Check the values here again. Yeah. Pillage was really bad timing here, so we are going to just dump more into industrial here. To really get this city going again. Yeah. Annoying. They're very unlucky. So the Ottomans are... Ottomans, yeah, they're progressing relatively good, decently here. Currently, the Bruja is going. Okay. Just them. Interesting. 42 to 50. Why though? 42, 48. Why can't you just like me? Why are you neutral to me anyway? So I mean I put it on friendly already. Ah, oh, the rebels. Looks like they can not take care of them themselves. Obviously. Now oh wait a second, we can check who is the rival here. Genoa, Chagatai and Damascus. So we can pick Chagatai here and we can pick Batu Ulus of course here. Yeah, there we are. Now we have enemy of my enemy. Yes, perfect. Common rivals. Here we go. An alliance fought in hell basically. And now we can see that they have 20,000 troops. They're probably preparing to jump on something like Karnik here. No, they have troops. Um, that's the remaining. That's the remainder. <laughs> okay, interesting. Of Alaka, apparently. Transylvania took everything over. Chagatai, Ulus, and Idikut. Ah, I guess. Oh yeah, so, um, yeah, Timur, Timur is, uh, tries to subjugate the Blue Horde, interesting, that's in our favor of course, anything of note here, a lot of city investments, Just the usual, usual stuff here. Okay, good. We should check now if, if our new provinces here do have decent... Yeah, they don't. So, for example, this guy here... Has mines, but no deposit. Interesting. They should have seesawed, probably. Something going wrong here. Uh, this is fine. This is not fine, so you need to open up timber, not again. And you need to open up game. There we go. Uh, Shuvash, how about you? Yes, timber, that's fine. 
This guy has 450 coal and fur. Okay. Do you have game though? Yes. This guy has also coal. But everything else is also opened up. And Utmusha also has stuff opened up. Okay, perfect. So these provinces are in actually fine. So basically, if we get lucky, so our truce expires in two years, a little bit less, Blue Horde might not want to fight because of work exhaustion and besieging stuff. But probably, ooh, Batu Ulus has 40,000 troops, which, which are in the Timurid realm. I do think... Okay. Mm. So we're just going to wait this, this. I think we are going to do this war against Batu Ulus here. And that's then the end of this episode, basically. So we could go for conquest here. We could also go for the reconquest, 40% aggressive expansion, or expansion east, which is 50% aggressive expansion. I think that the reconquest is cheaper. 10% is a lot. And of course we do have almost everything here, which could go into the hands of Premier and the remnants of that I'm going to take directly into my arms here, which are of course heavily nomadic territory, but oh, that's fine. We are going to make it work. We just have to be sure or make sure that we don't make one big mistake and that, um, that we do annex Crimea later on before we have done the federalism reform, basically. What? I should have clicked that away. But apparently the Avignon, is, Av Avignon has won. Interesting. And this one is Anjou now. Okay. Interesting stuff happening here. So, let's continue, let's prepare for war. Which means we are going to send here a spy network guy. Perfect. Ottomans are of course constantly at war. Now they are annexing Serbia. And we can... And we should take this tech here. We are slightly stronger now. We are... Oh, nice. So, theoretically, we could do these reforms already, but we don't have the idea group. Uh, we take the legitim legitimacy hit. That's fine with me. So Misha, let's see again, our culture is rare. So Misha is going to be our bridge here. And the river provinces are rare again. Okay, so basically we would need to convert Kazan first in culture. But that's going to be unlikely because this one has still eh, quite a long time nationalism or rather separatism. So we are going to try to dump all the prestige we have into Misha Yurt here to make sure that we can, can annex him as soon as possible. And theoretically we should also be able to convert Orthodox here in time. Oh, where we are already. Okay. Truce has expired. <clears throat> okay, come on. Oh, 
Oh, come on, game. Be less leggy. There we go. Okay. Um, not yet. But we could also call in the Ottomans. So we are going to wait a bit more. Oh, oh is Chagatai actually losing? No, they are not. They are winning. So we are just going to wait a little bit more. Oh, bureaucratic expansion already again is expired. So we are going to recall one of our bureaucrats. We are going to do one more. Expand bureaucracy here. We can also... That's yeah, 60%, that's fine. So we are just going to wait until Batu Ulus doesn't want to do anymore. 69 to 25, yes. Perfect. And we know that the armies of the Batu Ulus are here and somewhere here. So now the marriage expired. I think I'm going to re. Mm. No, we can't do promote aristocratic faction here. Should be fine. And we can do. No, we don't need to. It's all fine. We just need to go to war. And the Os Osmans, of course, uh, want theoretically the Valakan territories here. Half there. So probably just some provinces have to be taken and then the Blue Heart doesn't want to defend anymore. Now, July 1390. So three years until we can take take the new idea group with taxation and probably curing is even further in the future but it's fine mm. it's still not growing the city here interesting so i assume that we just need to invest more into it to get this off the ground i think the urban wage here is just extremely low we could check in fact compare it here urban wage is 5.4 musk we offers 6.9 yeah so the wage is a problem it's just too low for them to actually grow and immigrate inwards so we just need to invest to get the pool to pull this up, basically. Come on. 34 still. Man, their manpower and their armies are extreme. And Ottoman should also finish their war any moment now. Oh, Karnik already got inherited by Ottomans. Interesting. So they are already big enough here to start inheriting the minor ones. So Ottomans are really, really strong. Mm -hmm. So many projects we want to do. Another peasant war. Interesting. I mean, I want to build more harborishes here. I want to also build more amenities. And I want to build a capital. But I need money. And I'm not sure... Oh, wait a second. Uh, full annexation here. And mostly a seeding of territory there. So, Ottomans are finished with their war. Oh, so much money. I'm not sure where to get it there. Huh. I mean, we could pillage the white horde pretty, pretty hard now because we got Sarai, and this is the only one we care about. The rent, the rest here is mostly just nomadic stuff. Are they truly doing that well against Timur? Timur has sixty war score. Uh, except. Petition, more burger power is fine with me. In fact, what's our progress here? 
now that we got the chair four well, still 0 0.09 it's fine but maybe we do have more spread overall yeah it's still kazan and of course it's a muscovy doesn't get it yet i think i will still want to raid for example until sweden or someone here got it so we can buy it and we could also wait a second wait 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 Hmm, I mean Genoa has it, can we? Economy action? Hmm. 96. They wouldn't, but we can improve relations. Maybe then they want to. <laughs> Yeah, we can recall from the Ottomans here. Ah, oh, come on. I mean, I really don't want to declare war with the Blue Horde next to us, because if we get attacked by both of them and they make peace with Timur, that would be terrible. And that's really what I want to prevent. But the Ottomans already look like they want to declare the next war here. Which would be funny. Come on. 72, 36. Defensive war. Why do they not surrender to Timurid though? <laughs> okay, what else do we need to do? Where do these... Where is that? Oh, up here, in the north. Why do they revolt though? Bandit tree. Interesting. Ah, uh, it's probably the nomads here because they don't have anything. I don't know, should I invest here? I mean, I could invest into fishery again. Wouldn't hurt. And probably into game. Still open, right? Yes, it's still open. Just to make the jobs more attractive here. Wait a second. Did they colonize this one? Oh yeah, they got a colonization event. I didn't. Hey, I envy them. So Nishi Novgorod passively colonized this one by just being adjacent. So nice of them. Oh, two of a kind. Um, now I want the 225 military. Uh, no, I'm not going to do anything here. And we could also just declare war on them, but that would pull in the Ottomans here, which is, of course, a bad idea. Check investments. Nothing special. No, all fine. Money getting nicely invested here. Thirty-nine. Apparently, Timur Timur has is really struggling here, which I find confusing to say the least. End of peasant war. Okay, so basically, what we need to do later on. Let's just talk about later. We want to get these provinces going in regards to um, agriculture and other production because these farmlands here in Caucasia, Western Steppe are partially quite massive 
they only l i mean most of them want potatoes as their crop of choice so we do need to get this so that's why we also need to work on peasant freedom at some point but also what we need to make sure is of course is that these industries are opened here so now we can actually date this thing here which is delaying our admin tech again but now we can actually fix Astrakhan itself which already has a city which is nice uh, how many pop uh, six only but we can open up forestry and desalt probably here so uh, desalt yes that worked and uh, let's do timber because there's no game here in regards to fur which we could use but as we can see here barley and wheat are decently productive here and it will only get better later on when we have potatoes which is just far away oh come on i want this war and ottoman just uh, conquered the rest of Valachia here that was quick And we could just do it. 32,000, 34,000. It's risky though. Very risky. Let's, let's take Poltava here. I mean, they have 34,000 troops two times. And they have tech 15, we are tech 19. Ottomans are 17. First of all, let's go here. I mean, they're getting revolt again like crazy. I don't want to fight both of them. Really? I really don't want to. Oh, Totonic Order is dying. I got the feeling that as soon as we declare war, the Blue Horde is just walking into our territory from the and giving up to the to Timurid, which is exactly what we don't want to. Oh, and Ottomans. <laughs> Non-stop warfare here. It's crazy. Um, yeah, even more rebellions here again, so we have to wait them out as well. This episode is getting longer than expected. Polotsk became a personal union in Lithuania. Okay, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what else we can do here. Wait a second, what has happened here? Ooh, interesting. I found something for us to do. We are going to do a visit here. So we are going to take these three provinces here. Yes, definitely. Here we are. Let's visit Kiev. Uh, we don't need any of our subjects here. And I'm just going to... Hmm. I could take... Um... Yeah, medium looting. I could just take these three provinces and revo um, make them revoke the core here in Kursk. And then I could release them as a vessel again, so they their relations would get reset to a certain degree. And then we can use that to go to war with Poland at a later point. How does that sound? 
I think it's like a good idea. Because we need to get this territory anyway. Just to get into the Dnieper river system here, which we can connect in the north. <laughs> but we don't have the admin to actually cause stuff. So we shouldn't do this. 6k, seriously. Social mobility. Ah, uh, this is very good. Because this could give us the influence we need. Here to do something like the peasantry reform, of course. Let's do one. Let's do this one here, in fact. We're going to let these peasant revolts on going on here. We still keep an eye on Batu Ulus here. They're getting closer. But we also do have revolt upcoming. So let's actually take out this army here. And what I want to do is I'm going to take all three provinces here. There we go. And I want them to revoke first. Yes, perfect. And that's the war goal I want to aim for. Perfect. And now we go here. Salmon up here again revolting. Which is fine though. Okay, that's the army here. Everything is gone. And Batu Ulus here is also getting closer. 46 to 68. It's interesting that they are holding out so long against Timur. Never seen that before. Of course in my campaign, as usual. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Constantinople is already falling. Crazy. Are they really taking everything? Do they have cannons? No, they don't have cannons yet. So, means that they are going to become the elevated tributary now. In fact, I'm going to hire one general here. Can you accept? Yes, you can already. So let's just do it. There we go. Now we can go here and then we can hunt our rebels. And in fact, even though we don't have the relation slot theoretically, we can now release Kiev again. There we go. Make it a vessel. Perfect. And now they do have reset relations. Yes, perfect. Everything working as intended. And we do have all these cores which we can reclaim for our EFTM. Yeah. Which we are going to do at some point, but not right now. And now, come on. Almost. Okay, where do we have rebels? Uh, all up here. So we have to go there. And we also have to help out Nishi Novgorod here. So we can do this. Varnesh Each is done. Let's go here. Sales of office. 100 ducats, 10 state corruption. Yeah, let's do it. Money is money. 68 to 61. Yes, close, close, close. Piece of Thorn saving the Teutonic Order once again. One last time. Next war is going to be the final one, probably. Okay, and it also means that we can go to war now. And maybe we can call in the Ottomans for which we would give them Bessarabia and stuff. Sixty-seven to 
Nah, come on. Sixty-seven, sixty-six. Almost. Oh, come on. Sixty-six again. And we are definitely going to call in the Ottomans here. And of course we are going for Old Tarver. There we go. Finally. They are unwilling to do it. So we are going to declare war. And now the alliance is gone. Perfect. Time to finish this one. So you go here. And actually, I'm going to use all my troops. Severe looting now. And I'm going to call all subjects that will join us. Perfect. Loot everything. This is a very quick war, most likely. We can 16% already. Um, we are going to take everything which belongs to... Premier. And then we can just see. Perfect. That's ah, not yet complete. For example, the capital has to go to Perum manually. Why are there still gaps? This one. And this one. Okay, this is the full set here. 32%. Easy peasy. And the Ottomans are also coming. Perfect. And... So theoretically we're already there. Now we are going to give this one to the Ottomans here. I'm not sure what they actually want. So what do they want though? I don't know. We are going to see. Let's just pillage a bit more. And then move north for the rebels here. I love taking out the white horde here. Okay, let's go more. I think we're going to take too much time out. Okay, and Ottomans here have finished the job. Okay, and they really don't want this? Yeah, they do want this. Of course they want to. And... They want stuff up here, but no. Mm, trust by two. Oh, wrong button. Ah, come on. They would like this. Okay, and now we just have to uh, click again or of course here. I know that the Ottomans would like to get Crimea for themselves, but I'm not going to allow them. So that's why they are relatively neutral here. And now what I could do, or what I should consider, is taking everything here. They will not like it. I guess so. What's the most they will accept though? This is something I would accept. Why do they not want this stuff here? Mm. Hmm. 
Ooh, interesting. So they would like us to return this one. Now they wouldn't like it again. Ah, he steals. And we don't need to take everything here in one go. Sixty nine. Hmm. Can I take one more province? Would cost us one trust. Okay, let's see. How much trust do we actually have? No, not much. Okay, so we can't afford losing trust with them. What we could do is just wait for more war participation by just letting our vessels teach more stuff. Maybe that didn't work as expected because they just won a battle. Ah, oh, but wait a second. We are going to kill some army here as well. Eight hundred twelve percent. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just wait until everything is occupied, and then we can make a peace deal. We get more money out of it. And if something is left over, that's not too big of a problem. Okay, there we go. Even the rest of the armies are now getting, getting taken care of. So we can make peace now and call it a day for this episode as well. We do get quite some money out of it. 840 do we have now. And we can think about what we want to build with that. Okay. Um, oh, there's still an army here. And you. What? Why is this one reset here? Why is that? What? Why? You wanted that before. Why? I should have made peace, man. They all don't like this. Okay, maybe I just have to return less course to Crimea here. So basically, we are not going to return Kuban. We are not going to return this guy. 13 down. Kopa. This one. 13 still. Okay, let's do it differently. You take this. You are fine with this. So we are going to take the capital. You're also fine with this. And now we just return some stuff here. And you already don't like it. Seriously. Oh! Game. You know what, I think I'm going to screw screw on that Ottoman alliance here now. So I don't know why they don't want territory. 
I would be willing to give them everything they want in the Moldavia area, basically. But I want this and this. This is my birthright as Crimea, basically. And they would hate this more or less. And Carvasia, they also don't want this, no. They also don't want this. And if we were to do war with, no, if we do money. <laughs> you know what? Okay, let's just um, do raw reps for us here. And let's ignore what the Ottomans want. We don't care about this alliance anymore. So, we are going to take this as much as we can. All of it. Yes, perfect. And now we are going to just put... Uh, these, these things here are left afterwards. It's fine with me. So... Bye-bye right board. Bye-bye Ottoman Alliance. There you are. I don't care. Um... Can we afford this in Edmund though? 48, 56. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. Oh no, wait a second. No, I'm not going to do this. So we are currently at five relations. Yes, perfect. But the Ottoman Alliance is basically dead now. Um... So I think he's going to break, they are going to break this. I could consider releasing stuff here. Or I just give that to Crimea. Oh, I could also just give that to Noga Yurt. Yes, that's a very good idea. So I'm just going to give Sarkel here. There we go. I gotta give Manich. Yeah, I think that's a very good idea. And that way that way we can just save on the admin here and we get a better chance of converting stuff here that color brand oh wait a second and these yeah these are orthodox so this is fine so i'm going to just give them also sarai here um ah not sarai city but Shazarai al Maki, Makrus, whatever. There we go. And the rest I'm going to keep. And then I'm going to just. I can't. Okay, I can't. Okay, I'm just going to give everything to Misha here. Alanya as well. Serge as well. And Kavadia as well. There we go. Easy peasy. I don't care about ugly borders. Where are my troops? Up there. Perfect. And theoretically, we do have the conversion thingy here now. Uh, Misha is still a little bit uh, unhappy here. So let's do one more tick of prestige investment here. Now, in Reston and Easton. So, which area? Is that area? Probably areas, right? So, West Don, FT, and East Don. These two would get conversion modifiers from this. Mm, and Astrakhan would also get conversion modifiers here. And yeah. So we can work through these conversion things here, um, but not right now, or not yet. We're just going to wait a bit, because they should... Uh, yeah, why not? 
They should call this stuff first. Yeah, of course we do have now. People who don't like us again. Doesn't matter though. Ah, uh, right hot, we don't care anymore. Can we save the alliance though? I don't think so, but who knows. We room get, of course, a royal marriage. The same as Misha, as soon as they want to. They don't want to right now. Of course not. What we are going to do here is... We are going to leverage the nobility ones here. And then we are going to do the usual here. And now we do have more diplomatic relation, which is going to make this guy loyal again. Yes, perfect. And as one last thing here, we are going to do a royal marriage here. Perfect. There we go. And now our realms are secured. Kiev also gets one. And here is... Okay, they have just exchanged territory. Interesting. And we are good to go. And I'm not sure if we can save this one. 34. Hmm. We're going to give them access, make us as attractive as we can. And we are going to increase trust for favors here a bit. There we go. Which maybe makes it a bit easier. And now we can check out the integration times here. Ah, this one needs to update. This one is not going to be in 1.7. Okay, we are in a war. We are going to do this in the next episode. So leave a like and subscribe. We are on the next step here. And probably in the next episode we are going to start integrating Krim and the other Horde stuff here. Probably finish up Crimea. And probably start reforming. So, see you next time. Leave a like and subscribe.